Mother's plea for change in Metro schools after she says school leaders failed to even tell her that her son had suffered a head injury. Well, her son has autism and as Fox 17 News Amanda Chin shows us, this mother says a simple shift would prevent another student from suffering. This is a follow up to our Fox 17 News investigation. This mother is still fighting for answers and accountability for Metro schools. Not only is she taking legal action, but she also hopes to protect other students by calling for more cameras. Yay! Shanika Sherrill says her son's emotional trauma remains to this day. It's why Shanika is filing a lawsuit against Metro schools. Jace's safety is the most important thing. His education and safety is the most important thing. So we chose his education and his safety. And the only thing we could do at that point was remove him out of the system completely. Now she's also calling on cameras inside classrooms, especially those with special education students. That's because back in October of 2023, pictures showed Jace came home from school with mysterious knots on his head and had difficulty staying awake and alert. Doctors informed Shanika Jace had a concussion, but she says teachers and staff at Granbury Elementary did not communicate to her what happened. After asking for an investigation, Shanika says the principal told her through emails he had a head injury because a student kicked him and or due to his headbanging behaviors. Do we want to keep traumatizing him or do we want him to actually learn in a safe environment? And at that point, we said, you know what? After spending thousands of dollars advocating at IEP meetings and going to school, emailing principals, emailing teachers, emailing other administrators, you know, the battle was, what, do, what, what are we fighting for here? Shanika started an online petition calling for the installation of cameras inside classrooms. This happened to a seven-year-old nonverbal child, a seven-year-old who cannot tell me what's wrong. All he can do is cry and point. He, he's innocent. It hurts my heart because we are going through so much trying to get him back to where he was before this incident. Part of the petition says these cameras, quote, can serve as an effective deterrent against such instances. It will provide transparency and accountability for the actions taken within these classrooms while ensuring that any incident can be properly investigated and documented. So far, the petition has more than 175 signatures. I asked Metro Schools about the call from these families for cameras inside classrooms. A spokesperson says he is not able to get into specifics about security camera locations, but says there isn't a program of camera monitoring related to exceptional education. The mother is also calling on extensive training for these children so that they're kept safe and better communication with families when incidents happen. Reporting in the studio, I'm Amanda Chen, Fox 17 News, your Good Red Station.